Hey everyone, welcome back to my Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a GUI Sudoku solver using Python. I will be dividing this tutorial into two parts. In this part, we will design the GUI for the program and take the input from user. In the next part, we will write the algorithm for solving Sudoku. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. Open your IDE. Then you are good to follow along. From tkinter, import everything. Now, create a instance of tkinter's window. Set the window's title to Sudoku Solver. Let's set the dimensions of window using geometry method. The window will be 324 pixels in width and 550 pixels in height. Let's create a label that will briefing the usage of the program. Place the label on zero throw and first column using grid method. Set column span to 10, which will center the label in the window. Let's create an error label, which we will display if the Sudoku is not solvable. We will initialize it with an empty string. Set its foreground color to red. On the next line, use the grid method to place the label at 15th row and first column. Set its column span to 10. and Y padding to 5. Similarly, we will do this for success label, which we will display upon successfully solving the Sudoku. Make sure to set its foreground color to green. Create an empty dictionary, where we will store each cell of the input grid. Let's define a validation function, which will control what is being entered into the cells. It will take the value of cell as an argument. Let's check if the value is a digit, using isDigit method or is it an empty string, which will allow user to delete the value. To restrict the input to only one digit, use and keyword, and check if length of value is lesser than 2.
return the value of the boolean expression. Register the function, to the window, using roots register method. Let's divide the Sudoku's 9x9 grid, into smaller chunks of 3x3 grids. Now, we will write a function, to draw a 3x3 grid. It will take row number, column number, and background color as arguments. Use a for loop with a range of 3, which will indicate the rows. Inside it, use another for loop, with same range, which will indicate the column. Create an entry widget, with width has 5, BG as BG color. Justify as center, to center align the text. Validate to key, to call the validate function upon key press. and validate command to tuple of registered function and percent p substitution code which will pass the new value to the function upon change place the widget at sum of row number and i plus one row and at sum of column number and j plus 1 column. Set sticky to NCU, which will make it sticky from all directions. Set pad X, and pad Y to 1. Set internal padding Y to 5. Store the entry widget into the dictionary, with the tuple of row and column numbers, that we used to place the widget, as a key. Now, let's write a function to draw a 9 by 9 grid. I will be using a two color combo for the grid. Create a color variable, with first color as value. Now, use a for loop, in range 1 comma 10, with step size as 3. Inside it, use another for loop, in range 0 comma 9, with step size of 3.
call the draw 3x3 three three grid function, and pass the row number, column number, and color to it. Use an if condition, to alternate between the colors. If value of color variable is first color, we will set it to second color. Else we will set it to first color. Make sure to maintain the case of letters. Let's write a clear values function, which will clear values in each cell of the grid. Let's clear the error, and success labels. Now, we will again iterate through the rows and columns. The range for row would be, 2,11 and for column it will be 1,10 get the entry widget stored in the dictionary at given row and column Use the delete method of the entry widget, to delete its value, from index 0, to the end. Let's write the getValues function. Declare an empty list where we will store the values for each cell, for each row. Again clear the labels, to clear any text in them, if any. Let's use a for loop, to iterate over range, 2, 11, which will be the rows. Create an empty list for each row. Now, use another for loop, to iterate over range, 1, 10, which will be the columns. Get the values of the cell, using entry widgets get method. If the value is an empty string, we will append a zero to rows list. Else, we will append the integer of value to the list. Now, after the inner for loop, append the rows list to the board list. Now, create a button, using button widget. 
set command to get values function. Text to solve. And width to 10. Place the button at 20th row and first column. With column span as 5. And padding Y as 20. Similarly, create another button by copy pasting the previous button's code. Set its command to clear values function and text to clear. Place this button at fifth column. Lastly, call the draw 9 by 9 grid function and roots main loop method to launch the instance of our created window. Now, I will save and show you what we did in this part. Be sure to save this program in separate folder. The program is working as expected so far. In the next part, we will write an algorithm to solve the Sudoku. So, that's all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials. I will meet you next time, till then, good luck and peace.